No. Dude. What the f Dude. So broken. Yes. This is the life of an Elden Ring player. So I had some people messaging me on Discord, you know, Trello, why aren't you uploading? You know, is everything okay? You haven't uploaded in seven days. Well, I'll be the first to let you know. No, everything is not okay. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? I'm Trello. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you're wondering why I'm talking like this, it's because I have the anger built up to blow up a small country. This hellish game, Elden Ring, has single-handedly taken off five years of my life from the amount of close call heart attacks I've had in the last 72 hours. This game hasn't even been out for two weeks yet, and I've already put two days worth of playtime into the game. It's actually <laughs> incredibly unhealthy, help me. But in all honesty, this game has truly exceeded my expectations. Almost every feature, spell, weapon, gameplay mechanic, I've almost fallen in love with, and it hasn't even been that long of a time. I have so many other games I can play in my library right now, but for the past week, I haven't been able to think about another game besides Elden Ring. And because of that, today I want to talk about the reasons Elden Ring is ruining my life. It all started with the first boss in the game, Margit the Fell Omen. You see, before Elden Ring came out, there were a lot of fears that it was going to be too easy. For experienced Dark Souls players and veterans, it would not be a challenging game, and for the most part, we'd fly through it. There would be no difficulty slider, so there was nothing we could do. But this guy right here, Margit the Fell Omen, not the Fell Omen, the Fell Omen, gave me a swift and grim reminder that I was not shit. This boss single handedly had me on my ass for hours. I'm talking hours, bro. I had learned every in and out of this man's attack patterns, yet somehow he still gave me hell every time I opposed him. Earlier than I initially expected during my playthrough of Elden Ring, I was given that tilt that the Dark Souls franchise had given me years before in earlier playthroughs. Margit being an incredibly first difficult boss sets the foundations for what all Dark Souls games should be, and that's being impossible. It sets the tone right off the bat, and I love that Margit is the first boss because of this. I mean, this boss had people given up before the game even really started. Started. And it's great to know that the game only gets harder. I mean, next we gotta talk about the open world because they absolutely outdid themselves. When I first heard that Elden Ring was going to be an open world based game, I thought that, you know, there was just gonna be more areas to explore outside the main linear path that had the bosses and, you know, everything you needed to do. I didn't know that the main areas of the game would be in completely separate locations and that you would have to travel to them yourself. In fact, the game doesn't even tell you how to get to some of these areas and you just have to, through discovering the open world, figure it out yourself. And I mean, there's literally just so much to explore. I'm talking literally 80 hours plus that you have to do to just find everything. Most of the game's content is not in the main linear path, which incentivizes you to go explore the world, to go find things that will help your class. And the world doesn't feel empty. Everywhere you go, you're discovering a new biome, a new enemy, a new cave, a new castle. The map is not only huge, but it's filled. It keeps you wondering, well, what's over there? What if I go over here? What will I find? And that's something I haven't felt in an open world game in years. The expansiveness of this world and the detail in every corner of it is really commendable. That is why this game is earning 10 out of 10s. Next, I want to talk about some of the boss fights. While I won't spoil many in this video, I will let you know that this game has truly elevated what it means to be a boss fight. Some of the arenas, some of the abilities that these bosses have, have blown me away. Sometimes when you have a giant fucking snake in front of you, it's hard to take in the environment, but you should really take a second and take it all in. Most of the bosses have been really unique and fun to fight against, man. I mean, they the way they come up with this shit is, is past me. It makes me always want to look for the next one and fight against him because I just want to see what his abilities are and what I might get from him when I kill him. They come up with these crazy ideas, man, and Elden Ring really feels like the combination of all the games combined to make some of these amazing bosses. Last but not least, I do want to talk about my favorite part of the game so far, and that has been the Ashes of War. Ashes of War are essentially abilities that you can apply to your weapon that are found all throughout the world that can vary in so many different forms and ways and patterns hours, bro, that, that it is literally the best idea from software has ever executed on. Now you can find these powers throughout the world that max your playstyle and max your weapon strengths and utilize them to make your build so much stronger. Not to mention they all look cool as fuck, bro. I mean, what an amazing idea from from software, like I said, and I just I, I really hope that they add more in DLCs and shit because I want more. There are countless reasons why Elden Ring is giving me depression and fulfilling my life at the same time, but it all comes down to the amount of 
content and effort put into that content by From Software. This game is made with love, care, precision, and it can all be felt during every minute of the gameplay. I think the days of it ruining my life are over as I come towards the end of the game. I will most definitely be back for the second playthrough. It's amazing a game like this exists, and if you guys haven't played it, you really need to. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Join the Discord down below as well. Without further ado, guys, I'm Trello. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.